Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Lyrical Monasterio Trick or Trick Sneak Preview Booster Pack opening. We have a new sneak preview, and it's probably going to be the only one for a good while, because I don't think we get the next set, which is the new release for the new Vanguard series, I believe in April. So we'll have some stride deck sets and also I believe the new fighters collection in between then. But the Lyrical Monasterio Trick or Trick set will be the last uh, sneak preview we have for a good while. Really awesome set though. I'm definitely excited for the new encounter decks, including Pacifica and Labrador that we get in this set, along with all of the new Halloween themed uh, decks to build as well. I may even build, you know, the Trick or Treat Bag Girl as well. Our promo this time around is burgeoning tone sinned i really don't know why they keep giving us reprints we have a bunch of promos that we still need to get but you know if they're gonna keep giving us reprints for sneak previews that's fine we also have a very adorable uh play mat this time around as well it is levra soars uh, cocrease i'm definitely gonna be butchering a lot of the names in this set but as always we have the sneak preview packs and the prize packs to open up so hopefully we can pull something pretty good but let's go ahead and get started to get the five packs per entry so in total we have 47 packs to open hop and step finale for our first card a starter it looks like and yeah lots of halloween themed cards as you can tell lots of candy trick-or-treating here's the starter for all warmed up sienna uh, Liven Up Light, Clotilde, Dreaming of an Encounter, Hester. So, I thought it was a ghost for a second, or maybe it was one of the ghosts from Felty Rosa before they were a ghost. And Whimsical Skip, Leprot, for our other rare. So first pack, we start off with two rares. Let's see what we get for the next one. We have Elated Attention, Carlin, Diva of Greed and Gloom, Rosalita. It's a Labrador card. Okay, awesome. And then we have Gazing Expectations Curse On. We have an Over Trigger, which was inserted, looks like the third card in. And we have Sturdy Sweets Samil, a new uh, PG. And Fancy Spell TG. So this is really good because, you know, I don't know how many different ones, but it almost looks like it could fit with the Trick or Trick theme for the pack. But it looks like we still got two rares, but they just maybe are randomly inserting the Over Triggers for Lyrical Monasterio all throughout the pack. Another all warmed up Sienna. Uh, looks like we have some new triggers as well, which is nice in the set. Trick or treat. <laughs> Another demonic fever for this pack. And we have two rares again. We have a Fable Gator Topia and also Meeting Delicacy Hizumi. So no foils yet, aside from the two over triggers. Hopefully these last two packs can change that. Let's see. We have Levrasaur's Hadia. So it looks like another, I think it's like, yeah, the cover girl there. Um, here's her again, her grade two form. And we have another starter. This might be the one for Pacifica. And then we have Impulsive Skater Mugen and Rever One Milagros for the Michu deck. Awesome. So new support for, I am a big fan of the Michu deck. It's the glitter deck for Lyrical Monasterio. So any support for that deck should be good. Elated Attention, Carlene. This is the last pack for the first entry. And Curson. Yeah, there's the bunny or fox or squirrel looking girl up there. And then we have Dream Splurging Ramona. And a Magician's Work Colby. So this is for the Sirs deck. But looks like from that one entry, we got two over triggers and two double rares. At least I think, yep, both double rares because frame rares would obviously have the frame rare border monette and here's the grade two for sienna mariette irresistible vibes ambel for the friends deck and first time into the fray rabilla so yeah a bunch of animal looking ones as well not just mermaids anymore the lyrical monasterio is home to even some of the units from zoo it looks like and let's see with this pack. Here's the grade one for Fennel. All eyes on me, Trues. We have Grab the First Row, Bernarda, for the Pacifica deck. 
And our first triple rare is, speaking of Pacifica, Planet Idol Pacifica. So this is one of the grade threes that you run along with the, the other version, which is Top Idol Pacifica. So really, really cute and adorable and counter card. And our first triple rare. Hoping to see Labrador as well. How many triple rares? There are 16 triple rares in this set. Oh my. So definitely the chance that you might not pull what you want with the odds you get from sneak previews. Uh, Rue, Rue Boa and Revival Ocean Solange for Pacifica also. Two packs left from the second entry. At least we're getting some more foils now. Meline and Mummeret. This looks like another starter. Let's see. We have Waiting Staging Mermis and Decorate Shiny Ls. So I don't know. That's Lilfa. Okay, so it's for the Lilfa deck. But they're giving support, I think, like to decks also from the previous set. I know the Friends deck and the Powerful deck from the second Lyrical Monstero set also have support in this pack. I believe they have new Grade 3 versions to pull. Meeting Delicacy, Sumi. And Rose of Exaltation, Custodia. So this is for the powerful deck. I can see Herminia in the card text. So very nice. But still, we're two entries in and only one triple rare. That means we're saving all of the best for last, it looks like. Let's see. All right, third entry. Let's see. I think we only pulled one trigger as well so far. Night Light Unison, Latiel. And Super Aesthetic Shop. This is actually a double rare. Uh, you play with a Counter Blast 1. You get all your rear guards, get plus 5,000 to end a turn. So kind of like just a boost uh, order to use. Interesting. But it is a double rare. I guess on top of you got the over trigger and that just added pressure to all your rear guards. There's another Sienna. And oh, we have Busting, Bustling Streets, Oiga. And here is Top Idol Pacifica. So only two triples that we pulled so far are both for Pacifica. Very, very awesome. Her cross ride form and her original form. So the one you probably ride in the ride deck and the ones that you can place additionally for, or maybe it's like back row uh, or rear guard support. Probably rear guard support. And then we have groupie member Carlotta. And our first frame rare, which is Night Illuminating Light Caparet. So is this for, it's for the Mediel deck. I don't know if it's a double rare or not. Made into frame rare form. And I'm going to have to read through all these. This looks like a Pacifica card here as well. Maline, Siana, Waiting Staging Mermis, and Haunted Spot Iristana for the Trick or Treat. It looks like it searches out, so one of the Halloween-related cards. Also, what's going to be new is after the 19th, all decks, the ride decks will be four cards, and the main deck will be 50 cards, so a lot of decks will be changing, but I'll be sure to stay on top of it with all my deck profiles. Creating Urge, Sablu, and Vivid Night Festival, Orealis. So this is for the Levra Sur's deck, one of the pack cover cards there. But another triple rare. Let me clean up some of the wrapping here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, on to entry number four. Let's see. Cassandra, another... I, I may build Sienna as well. It's a very funny card. Bustling Streets Olga and Mugen again. That is if I can pull it. I've gotten three triple rares so far. Hopefully all the other packs... Are saving them for last. Here we have two rares. Yep, looks like it. This is for the yep, Herminia deck. Because a lot of bird-related cards are for the Herminia deck, I think. This card also is... It's generic, but it, no, it says powerful ability, so it's not generic. It is for that deck. Let's see. We have Sturdy Sweet Samil, and we have another double rare, Prison Promise Late. I didn't know she was a double rare, but awesome, because I do want to build Labrador. That's the main deck I'm looking to build from this set. It's the one deck I still have from the original Vanguard series, along with Dragonic Overlord. Those are the two decks I've kept built this entire time. And we have Diva of Watchheart Petronil for the Prism deck, so along with Lance, just another double rare that I needed. Awesome. Yeah, another PG 
Hopefully they give us a good number of those just for all the new decks to build. And last pack from entry number four. Let's see. We have Fancy Spell, uh, Tiege, and Full Moon Magic Forsha. So for the Friends deck, her new Halloween outfit. And during this fight, it's regarded as having the same card name as the specified card. So I don't know if that means you can't run the other version. Maybe it just means you can only run the copy from this set, which if it's good enough, that might be for the best because otherwise you'll get a lot of Persona rides also. And we have Novella and Rusing Vocal Luisen for Pacifica. And let's see. Dream Splurging Ramona and Raffish Runner Juno for the Siana deck. Definitely a lot of double rares, but there are 19 double rares in this pack, so another chance that we probably won't pull all of them. I guess we'll have to see. Here's a Frame Rare and a Luca Rare. Rever 1 Milagros. I believe I've pulled that already. Uh, yeah, it's for the Michu deck, so I think I have. Just not in Frame Rare form. Yep, here she is. So the frame rare copy, and nice to know. I like when I pull double rares for frame rares because they help when it comes to pulling cards I need. And we have two rares again, Tapia and Ramona. Last pack from this entry. We have a foil, or is it two rares? It is an In Search of Limited Sweets, Mildred, for the, looks like it might be generic. If you, no, if you played a magazine order, so. It's for, I forget the name of the deck, but it was from the third Lyrical Monasterio deck set. Three entries remain, and we have the prize packs at the end as well, so don't forget that. We have, I see a frame rare, Creative Urge, Sablu. And Dreaming of an Encounter, Hester. So another uh, copy of this. Awesome. Now is when we're getting all the frame rares. So am I going to pull another frame rare? Let's see. We have Hester and Scrupulous Costume Ethidna for our next frame rare. Yep. <laughs> I think almost like three frame rares in a row. Almost close. One double rare in between. Yeah, let's see. So much Halloween. <laughs> it's January. We have Lottery Lollipop, Mariam, uh, for the Lutetia deck, it looks like. So you're going to be mixing around Easter cards with Halloween cards. Because I know I think the Michu deck has an Easter card. Now I'm going to be throwing in a Halloween-related card. All the different holidays to celebrate with the Lyrical Monasterio. Rattling Good Time uh, Flummy and Starry Witchcraft Roseanne for, uh, yeah, it just looks like a generic, this one. I at least don't see any specific names or card text on it. And last pack from entry number six. All right, I think I see some triple rare foiling. We have Rattling Good Time Flummy. And, oh, here's one of the expensive reprints because they did reprint this in the Fighters Collection. For the festival collection for 2023, it is Cooling Heart Yuika. Uh, once again, as I said, remade as a triple rare again in this booster set. Just a really good generic card. So they had to reprint it again because I guess it was too pricey for people. The Brainwash Swirler for Lyrical Monasterio. And oh, there's a new heel as well. I don't think I pulled any of that yet unless I missed it. But two rares. Up oh, there's the playmat, Levrasaurus Kokris. It's the, oh, interesting, it's a starter, it looks like. It's the exact art from this one, so it looks like they gave us a starter for our playmat. Ambel and Scrupulous Costume, Ethidna. We have only pulled, though, five triple rares, so if we're going to pull some more, it's got to be from these packs since they're all in the prize packs. 
Let's see. We have a Fable Topia and Colored Bop Dragon Walbridgia. This is the one we got from the last set for the discard costs. You draw a card. This is the Lyrical Monasterio version of that card, but it is a triple rare. It reminds me of Red Riding Hood Dragon from Future Card Buddy Fight, just because it's obviously, it looks like a dragon. Might be a transformed Lyrical Monasterio student. Uh, groupie member Carlotta, and Rainbow Jeweled Beast Opirus. So this is the one that is one of the cats for this. All those cats we got from the set two sets ago. Here is the Lyrical Monastery. We're getting all the staple triple rares now. The generic ones that they don't want Lyrical Monastery to be left out for. All right, after this one, we have one pack. And I see another triple rare. Three triple rares from one entry. And it is Triple Trick Finale. So the one cover deck here is her card art there as well. Um, uh, during your turn, you play three up, you cannot play wars other than Trick or Treat or Regalus piece. So it doesn't work with the Trick or Treat deck, it looks like, other than Trick or Treat. Okay, so obviously, so we don't take from the other deck in the set. But last entry, let me move some of the wrappers out of the way so I don't misplace anything. Two orders. There's a trick or treat. And we have Hearts and Smile Noelia for the Mediel deck. And yeah, because trick or treat looks like it says you can have up to 16 copies in a deck. And I thought I'd been seeing different grade versions of the card as well. But next pack. Let's see another triple rare there. Night Illuminating Light Caparet and Soaring Bun uh, Bubble Penelope. For the Kyrie deck, or the Grade 4 starter deck, one of the first Lyrical Monasterio decks we got. But as I said, we're getting all the triple rares now all of a sudden. So let's see. We have Nightlight Unison, Latel, and here's Prison Promise, Celtic. Now I just need to pull Labrador, and then I have all three of the original Divas from the Prism deck. There's another Heal. Oh, there is a stand also. And Crystal of Special Emotions, Bellion for the Friends deck. And last pack for the entries, and then we have the prize packs to open. Let's see, final pack. We have our third over trigger. Looks like they just gave us the costume one for this set. And just like the other packs, when it's an over trigger, we just pull the two rares. But we'll move these wrappers out of the way because we do have the prize packs to open. So seven prize packs, and we normally pull some pretty good cards from these. So let's see what we get. So we have, I see some triple rare foiling, and oh, nope, this is a double frame rare. We have uh, Prank Explorer Crispina. So this is for the Trick or Treat deck. It looks very, very awesome for a double frame rare. So starting off strong with the prize packs. Can I pull Labrador, though? That is the question. Let's see. And we have a frame rare, Grazing Tales of Many Meetings, novella. And let's count real quick, because I think, as I said, triple rares should be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we should have 12 on average from a sneak preview kit. So maybe we've still got three more triple rares to pull. Let's see. Uh, Diva of Watch Heart, Petronel, another double rare. Am I going to pull Siana or a Labrador? Let's see. We have a frame rare for Prison Promise Layet, so that's pretty awesome. Nice. But these last three packs are what decide it. Let's see. And we have, I see something, and it is Jacko Parade Theratheus uh, for the Siana deck. Grade 2 backup support, it looks like. And that is a triple rare with two packs remaining. Let's see what else we get. Something. I see some kind of foiling. 
Oh my goodness, I don't even know what this is. One Night Witch Strega. When this unit is placed on rear, other than by a unit's ability, you may soul blast one. Look at the top five cards. I don't even know what this is. I pulled what looks to be something pretty awesome. The text is different, and it's a normal unit. It's an LSR. Okay, awesome, awesome. How many LSRs are in this pack? There are six different types. I'm guessing maybe it's for one of the decks. I'm going to have to double check there, but that looks awesome. Very, very nice. So along with the double frame rare, we pulled that. I was not expecting that. Final pack. Let's see. We're going to pull something. Is it going to be Sienna? Is it going to be Labrador? Our final. Nope, it is the Levrasaur's Charmut for the Halloween-themed deck. So we did get a good number of triple rares, but we also pulled the double frame rare. Prank, Explorer, uh, Crispina. And then I have to double check this awesome One Night Witch Strega, an LSR. I can't remember the last time I pulled an LSR from a Lyrical Monasterio set, but this one looks adorable. So definitely can't wait to open some more of this set. And I hope you all enjoyed the opening as well. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.